So, my name is Tamilia Robbins. I'm going to be making a, a sauteed cabbage for you guys. Uh, I wrote down some of the health benefits of cabbage. Um, so, cabbage, if you don't know, it helps with inflammation. It has plenty of vitamin C and vitamin K, which is very important during this time. Also, it helps improve digestion and uh, it can help lower blood pressure and cholesterol. So let's just get started. So here's my cabbage. I've already cut it in quarters, but this part right here, you wanna cut that out because it's hard and it's very bitter and it doesn't cook very well. So you just cut it out. I'm not strong. Okay. Cut out more <laughs> until it's all gone. Okay. Over here. And then you want to cut your cabbage in thick chunks. As you can see, I already started cutting everything else. Okay, so those are my thick chunks. So, oh my, the word is too small. So I already have stuff over here ready. How's it going? What is it Huh? Huh? So you want to take olive oil, and I cook everything on hot. So just prepare for this roller coaster. Um, a, a splash of olive oil. Olive oil is really healthy for you. Better than any other. Well, I like also avocado oil. <laughs> But when it comes to sauteing, you really want to get olive oil. It has uh, medicinal properties in it also. So we're going to let that heat up a little bit. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah, you're good. Okay. So here's my onion. I'm doing half an onion. I love onion. But... If it's not your thing, you don't have to put as much. But it also has uh, a lot of properties, healthy properties in it. And I wrote those down as well. <laughs> so some healthy benefits to onions are, it has tons of vitamin C and vitamin B. It's filled with antioxidants. Uh, it helps reduce heart disease and heart disease risk factors. And it helps control blood, blood sugar. So it's really good to work onion, raw onion, especially into your diet. So we're cooking these until it's, they're translucent. Translucent. So while that's cooking, I'm going to go finish chopping my cabbage. I hope while everyone's at home, I hope they're doing well, staying safe and staying sane, which is important to me because I can't wait to see you all and I miss you all very, very much. Some people don't like cooking this part right here because it's thicker, but this is my favorite part because I read somewhere that if it's the greener the leaf, the healthier it is for you. Okay, so we're going to cook all this cabbage. Throw this away. 
different. So, so they're getting kind of translucent. You see, there's a little brown in there, and it smells so good. That's better. I didn't know that I wanted. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the sausage and let those saute in there also. Now this is not beef sausage. It's turkey sausage. Um, some people don't eat red meat, and I do, but uh, turkey sausage is generally healthier for you. So we're going to let that cook. Now, arguably, my favorite thing in the whole wide world is garlic. You can you should only put a tablespoon or something, well, maybe a teaspoon in, but I put a lot because I love garlic. Also, I'm a little bit allergic, but I love it so much I'm willing to risk it, honestly. But it's so health, it's healthy for you. So in ancient Greece, in ancient Greece, they used to use garlic as medicine. And still today, it holds those um, healthy benefits. It's, it's like a concentrated onion. And I love it. So you just mix that in. Don't let that cook too long because garlic easily burns. So we're going to take all, all of our cabbage. We're going to put it all in here. Oh. Okay. We're going to mix it up. You might have to break it a little, little bit. And I'm telling you, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Now, this is my razzle dazzle part. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it down a little bit. what I wrote about garlic. Oh, okay. So for garlic, it's high in vitamins and low in calories. Mm -hmm. It has abundance of vitamin C and vitamin B6. It helps reduce blood pressure. It helps with your cholesterol. It contains antioxidants. So it's good at fighting um, bacterial diseases. And it helps detoxify the body. I also read a study that says it fights against Alzheimer, Alzheimer's, and dementia. So garlic is super duper healthy. It's like one of the superfoods. And if I could eat it all day, I would, but I can't. So I just add an abundance to all my food. <laughs> but here's the <laughs> spectacular part. So this is a, a simple, easy meal. But for seasoning, I use taco seasoning. And this, I usually use the low sodium 
but they didn't have it. So I just got regular plain taco seasoning and I'm just gonna add that to our mix. And I like to um, cook it on high because I like my things with a little bit of char. I know some people might say that it might be a little burnt, but I like the char like taste. So we just mix that together. And you see how it's becoming easier to break apart? At first it was really hard. As it cooks, it becomes easier to break apart. So we mix it and mix it. Mm, it smells, doesn't it smell good? <laughs> oh my goodness. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little water in here to help it along and cook it down. So, as you see, this is, I don't cook a lot because I sweat. But if you want, if you like your things a little spicy, you can put cayenne pepper in there. Just a few shakes. Um, not a lot because it gets spicy. There. <laughs> Okay. So now that I've sufficiently, I feel sauteed it. I'm gonna add water and I'm gonna let it cook down. Now, you can leave it a little crunchy because some people like their vegetables a little crunchy. It preserves more of the nutrients if you do that. And some people like for it to cook down all the way to it's translucent. Now, you don't have to do it the way that I do it, but I, I'm gonna let it cook down because I think that five, Four out of five of the people in here likes their vegetables uh, cooked all the way down. So I'm gonna. Mm. And also, you can make this. Um, you can make this a vegan recipe. Also, vegan or vegetarian. Just leave out the. Uh, Leave out the sausage. And also, um, they have like vegan taco seasoning and such. So you can, you can mix it any way that you want. You can modify it any way that you want. So we're just gonna cover this. This is almost the final project. And then you add salt and pepper to taste. So I'm gonna turn it back on high. And I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to let it cook down, okay? So thank you so much for coming into my home and watching this video. I really appreciate it. Like I said, all of Amy, uh, we miss our parents, and we hope that you stay connected with us. Have a wonderful day.